1961, two scientists, Nuremberg and Matai, wanted to crack the DNA code on how genetic code were translated. So they made an experiment. They extracted cytoplasm and ribosome from E. coli bacteria and added them to 20 test tubes. And each test tube contained a mixture of all 20 amino acids, with one of them marked radioactive. The idea is that a radioactive amino acid will form a hot protein. Then a poly U chain was added to each test tube, and he found unusual activity in the test tube containing phenylabiline. The same was done for a poly C chain, a poly A chain, and poly G chain. The result is that the um, triple C produces proline, the triple A produces lysine, and nothing was produced with triple G. The result of that experiment showed that RNA is required for protein synthesis and that you need three bases of DNA to code for one of the 20 amino acids that serves as the building block of proteins. And in 1964, Nuremberg paired up with Leder to do another experiment with newer technology. The experiment consists of artificial mRNA mixed with ribosome and 20 charged tRNA, with one being radioactive. It is passed through a special filter. The filter allowed unbounded tRNA to pass. If there was a match for the radioactive tRNA, then it will not pass through the filter and the filter will become radioactive. This process was repeated with different combinations. In 1966, Nuremberg had to cipher the 64 RNA three-letter code word for all 20 amino acids. 